you have a strong shot at being the Democratic nominee to face Senator Grassley. What makes this race different? Oh, so many things. Look, the guy has been in D.C. for 47 years, and he has forgotten where he comes from and who he's supposed to fight for. And the reality is right now we're seeing numbers where only 27 percent of Iowans want to vote to reelect him. His approvals are in the low 40s, the lowest they've ever been. And heck, he actually has a about a 20 percent lower approval rating than Donald Trump even has in the state with Republicans. I mean, it's pretty extraordinary when his party isn't even excited about him anymore. The middle, honestly, we folks just think he's been there too dang long. And Democrats, heck, Folks used to vote for him all the time. It's funny, you know, I go around the state, whether it's our smaller towns or our bigger cities, and I joke that we should set up a former Grassley voter confessional because of how many people say they used to vote for him because he used to be a different guy. He's not that anymore. And this race is about the future of Iowa, the future of our country, and quite frankly, about the future of democracy. You know, there was a question of whether you were going to be on the ballot for the Democratic primary until just a couple of days ago. Tell us about how that went down. <laughs> well, uh, so two GOP operatives in Iowa challenged my nominating petitions after the Secretary of State, the Republican, by the way, Secretary of State had accepted them. A bipartisan panel had accepted them. And then they still decided to challenge them. And a lower court basically ignored 30 years of precedent to say that I didn't meet the requirements to be on the ballot. It was pretty extraordinary what happened. And we took that thing all the way to the Iowa Supreme Court, where seven judges unanimously voted to make sure that they followed the law and that they didn't get away with what they were trying to do here. And I am back on that ballot in Iowa. We beat them <laughs> uh, multiple times over the last three, three weeks as they kept trying to take me off the ballot. And we intend to beat them again in November. I think it just shows how desperate they are right now to protect Chuck Grassley and how he has never faced a challenge of what we are giving him right now. Um, the contrast between us is clear when it comes to what I fought for who, again, uh, and where I come from that I will never forget, because you can't, not the way that I grew up. I'm a daughter of a union pipe fitter welder. My mom was public school secretary. I'm a first-generation college grad who spent my life fighting for the people I care about, who, quite frankly, have been forgotten in Iowa and also in Washington, D.C. It is why we are going to beat him, but we're going to need everybody with us. So if you can go to abbyfinkenauer.com, it would mean a heck of a lot because we can beat this guy. It is an opportunity we haven't had here in a generation. And quite frankly, we must beat him. We have less than a minute left, Congresswoman. But at, at a recent town hall, Senator Grassley said that he's glad to have Trump's endorsement, even though he doesn't agree with uh, everything he, he has said. How important is a Trump endorsement, <clears throat> excuse me, a Trump endorsement for Iowa voters? Well, it's kind of funny. After he got Trump and Trump's endorsement at a Recent, well, I guess it was a rally back in September. His approval ratings with Republicans continued to actually even go down. Um, I think, honestly, Iowans just know this guy has been in D.C. for too dang long. It is about having somebody who is going to step up for their health care, who is going to fight for lower prescription drug prices, who is actually going to have the backs of their family. Again, I am somebody who spent my life fighting for people who haven't had a voice, who deserve a seat at the table, and who have been, quite frankly, forgotten by this guy Mm -hmm. his 47 years in Washington. And it is about what he's done that has hurt Iowans, but also what he hasn't. This guy walks around like he's Mr. Rural America, but we've lost 30,000 family farms in this state since he's been in office. We are going to beat him. And again, we have to. Mm -hmm.